Hey, this is Pamela with Junk Journal Newbies, and I just thought I'd hang out for a little while and see how things go. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start with my most recent Timu order. So I bought this cute little thing of fabric. I'm just going to open it and check it out. Where'd my scissors go? <sighs> what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I just love it. Cool. Can't wait to use that. And then I bought these cute little flowers. Let's see, let's see what do they look like. Oh, these are pretty. Let's see. Oh, I like it. Cool. I'm waiting for some new flowers to come. Oh, and I got the same ones, but these are kind of a little bit green, and these are more gray. Cool. And I got this new wax seal stamper. It has a J on it for my last name. Can't wait to use that. Oh, and I got this cool fabric. Let me check this out. Oh my goodness. Dang it. Alright, let's try it that way. Let's see what the quality is like. I actually really like it. Oh, it's a bunch of different ones. Oh yeah, I remember now. So, pink is one of my favorites. Let's see what they look like. Oh, that's pretty. Mm hmm. I'll do it like that, I guess. That's real pretty. Oh, I love those hearts. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <clears throat> Let's see. What's everybody else up to today? Ooh, I really love that one. That'll be one of my first ones to use. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. I think there's one in there. No, maybe not. I feel like there might have been another one. Anyway. Oh, that's good. That'll be a good one. I know what to do with that one. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Those are beautiful. Wow, I can't wait to use those. And then I actually got another pack. Check it out. Thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, these are really pretty. Look at that. Let's see. Oh, I like that. Nice. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, I love that one. That's a good one. Can't wait to use that one. Oh, must be one between. What's your favorite things to get from Timu, I wonder? Give me some feedback. Can't wait to find out. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, nice. I'm excited to use those. Oh, I have a couple more. I kind of got a little carried away lately buying fabric and lace. Let's see. This one's real pretty. Let's see. So just solid color, I guess. Oh, I like that one. Oh, nice, I guess. I can come up with something for that and that. Oh, I love that. I love the flowers, I guess. I'm really drawn to those. That's cool. Makes me f think of vintage. <laughs> and another one. Let's check it out. Oh, I love that. That's a good color. Maybe they're... Okay. <clears throat> nice. Oh, pretty! That makes me think of something vintage. Definitely that does. These are really nice ones. I like that pack. Cool pack. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, I really like these. I'm going to show you these. I really can't wait to use this one. Little hearts, right? Comes two. I don't really remember what I paid for them, but they're worth it for sure. Oh, and I also got these mauve flowers. i show you what they look like. Pretty. Those are very pretty. I like them. Get back in there. Oh, I guess I was on a roll and I got the white ones too. Can't really see them unless I take them out, but they're really pretty. Oh yeah, so cute. Oh, I can't wait to use those. Oh, these are super cute too. Let's see. Ouch. Oh my gosh, so cute. These really cute little hearts. Let's see what they look like. They're beads, so I'll use them on my dangles. Oh, and this bag of flowers. Pretty. And I got another one. These are a little bigger. Oh, I love these hearts. Let's see what they look like. I'm on the live. You want to come say hi? I'm on the TikTok live. Do you want to come say hi? Hey, Nick. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming to join us. What are you doing today, Nothing. kiddo? Were you working on your truck? Yeah. yeah. What'd you do to it? Cool. I thought you had to buy some of those. Well, I was just checking the gap, checking the gap between them. Okay. These are really cute. Look at these. Oh, they're upside down, but they're still cute. Tiny. Can't wait to use these. These are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I like whatever mom and her crafty stuff. Who cares, mom? It's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. Oh, I got these little papers. These are cute. Mm. That's pretty. Oh, I love these. These are nice. Use those up. And this. Do you think this is um, like a teal color? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use these for some people that I have journals that I want to make, but I haven't started yet. Two different people. It's hard to see this lighting. They're really pretty. Ooh, that's a good one. I have to get the blue ones out because some of the blue ones I'm going to use in my blue journal that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 For sure. What does that little number mean? <laughs> Me either. I'm the newbie. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, come out. Hmm. Why does that say spotlight right there? <laughs> no idea. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, they're different kinds, sizes and stuff. Look at that. Oh, those are pretty. 
kind of hard to tell. Yeah, you can see better up there. Pretty. Oh. oh, look, it says a popular live on the top. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. Bye. You gonna go play some video games? <laughs> oh, these are really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so pretty. I really like that one. That might have been the first one I showed, but I like it. Anyway. Very pretty. So if you um, like Timu, then these are some great options on there. And then this paper packet looks really pretty. Let's see. Mm, let's open it. Maybe that's enough. I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, these are really pretty. Wow, look at that. Oh, I love it. I really like that one. They're actually much prettier than they look on the camera. Oh, I love this one. I think I'm going to... That's all the things I got this time, but I'm going to just make a couple things. I have this. I'm going to fold this in half, right? And then I'm going to fold it in half this way. And I'm going to take my scissors. I guess we're calling these 4 by 4s I don't know what the real name is okay so then you have this and you fold this one down you might want to use your bone folder then you so you have that and then you fold that in and then you fold this down and then you have this let me show you a some would call a prototype, and this is one of them I made recently. I was on a kick and I made a whole bunch that day. So, I really love it. It's just so cute. Anyway, so then the first thing I would do, or the next thing I would do is go ahead and stain it. Where's my, I like to use this one. This is my favorite color. Let's see if you can see it. Ground Espresso. And a lot of times I feel like I need a little tiny squirt of water. Oops, get it on there. And rub it in, rub it in. Okay. And then just ink it. Some people are like, well... My inking doesn't look as good as other people's inking, but honestly, it's just people, you know, are usually just nervous and self-conscious to do things. But I always just say, just do it and think of it as a learning look. Even that. I got a little there. It doesn't matter. It looks cool, actually. I'm not worried about it. Plus, I can just kind of go in a little more with it. Make it look more natural. Looks better. And then I want to make sure I do every side. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Ouch.
Thank you all for joining. <laughs> and then just keep going. Ink, ink, ink. Oh. And let's see how it looks. Okay. When, I guess the reason why I like to do junk journaling is because Sometimes I get bored kind of quick at things, and it's pretty hard to get bored at junk journaling because you can do so many different things. If you get sick of one thing, you just do something else that's... And most crafts can be included in junk journaling projects. Anyway, let's see. Let's see how it looks. Maybe a little more. And then I also want to make... Okay, so I'm going to make sure I got all the sides... I think that needs a little more. A little more. Okay. And then I want to do the inside. Feels a little dry, so I'm just going to add a little more water. Thanks for coming and hanging out for a few minutes with me. I, I love to have company when I'm doing this. It's so much more fun. So now it looks like this. Which is very distressed, especially since it turned out like that there. Actually looks kind of cool. And then I have these peg stamps that I, that I like to use. Let's see. Which one? Yeah, maybe we'll use the bumblebee this time. Then, uh, maybe I'll put one on every corner, every which way, it doesn't really matter. I like it when they're not all the same. That's cool. Let's see, that's how that looks. I like that. And then, on all the other corners. And I just turn it a little each time, try to get a little different angle. And now it looks like this. Well, this is a newbie project, Marine. I mean, it's one of the easier ones. Sometimes you can feel very intimidated when you're doing this. I know I did and, and in many ways I still do. There's plenty of parts of the junk journaling that I have not even tried. But I'm going to use, this is called a bone folder and the reason to use this is to uh, get your whatever your project is that you're working on that you're going to put inside your folder. You want it to be as flat as you can and that way it will fit in there better and not cause as much bulk. Well now um, this is the one I had done earlier, and I did it with this little flower stamp. It's really cute. And so I decorated it like that, which I like, I like, but I want to do something different. So let's see, what else can I use? made these little, this little bin of, not too many left, at the moment I need to make some more, but these are little clusters in which I just took little bits of fabric and things and glued them together. Let's see, that one might be cute, I don't know, not sure. 
That one's cute. Yeah. Hmm. This one? Hmm. I wonder which one. I, I don't know. I have to just put each one on until I find the one that I like the best. Oh, that one's cute. Let's see. All right, I'm just going to play around. I'm going to hold it right here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, well, probably, yeah, I guess I'd probably would put it like that if I used that one. Let's see what this one looks like. Uh, I don't know about that. I think this one is better. So that one's going on the side. That one's a maybe. Oh, no, I don't. Well, I don't know. That's actually kind of pretty. Then I would have to put something here. That's a maybe. That one, other one's no. I like this one, though. Let's see. Oh, that one might be the first number one right now. This one? Yeah, I like that one. All right, that one goes to number one. <laughs> and then... That one's pretty too, but I still think the last one was better. Oh, let's try this one. That one's cute. Whoop, there it goes. Oh, that's pretty too. But I think it needs more color to go on here. It's pretty good. It needs to be more than it is. And that's really pretty too. So hard to choose. And then the last one I have ready is this one. Let's see, it would probably go like that. But I think I love this one the most. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. This one? Is this the favorite one? Maureen, what do you think? The one that says possible? I think so. Okay, I'm going to use that one. All right, and then I'm gonna use my glue. This is actually a Sugar Bell icing piping bottle. And I like this because it has a very fine point. And I always just put this paper clip in there and it works for me. <clears throat> and it's actually, the glue inside is actually Fabrifix glue. And it's very good for anything, but especially um, fabric, clearly. I'm just going to put some glue on here. I'm going to smooth it out, spread it out a little. Move that out of the way. And put that on there. Let's see. Oh, it is really quite cute. I like it. It's on the table. Which one? Alright, let's see. Well, it's not that one because that's not pink. That one's pretty. I like that one. And this one? Which one? Because <laughs> I have more I can I can add things to. Those are my choices right now. Right. This one that I finished, I love this one. This one I put stamps on the outside. And I have not done that one on that. I mean, done that on that one. I wonder if I should. Let's see. I could use. I'm gonna get these out. These cute little guys, maybe. Let's see. So many. We made this one the other day, too. It's a pretty one. Okay, right top. This one or that one? My right? This one? <laughs> yeah, that one's a pretty one. Let's see. Let's make that. Oh, let me show you this one. This is one of my favorite ones. I have to put a little tab on that one, so then you open this tab, and then you open, 
and you open. I like this one. This one, okay. I think it's this one. So, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to grab one from in here. Alright, so I have this. Maybe this will work with this one. So let's see. Yeah, okay. First I'm going to ink it and add a little more water. Lately it's just seemed to be a dry, a dry deal. Alright, actually let me flatten that a little. So you can do these however you want. And to make those little these little fabric clusters. I just took a piece of fabric, another piece of lace type of fabric, put it on there, and a little flower. And I glued the, each layer, and, and that was that. And usually I end up doing that out of the little bits of fabric that are scrap pieces that I didn't use for something else, you know. Okay, let's open this up. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Maureen. That's so nice of you. Thank you for hanging out with me for a while. It's nice to have some company. And then, let's see. So what I usually tell people that are new, and keep in mind, I've been doing this since about, this is March 3rd. I started this path um, about December of the year before last, so, you know, I've only been doing it a year and a few months, so once you get started, it doesn't take that long for most people to just kind of get the hang of it. Especially if you do any other kind of crafts at all. Alright, I think this, whoops, needs, let's see. Oh, I didn't even get that one at all yet, so. Thank you. I like this one, this particular part, uh, embellishment, or whatever you want to call it. These 4 by 4s as my friend Liz said, that we should call them, um, because they're, on the easier side and people can get intimidated but honestly that's you know not really something to worry about because most things you do if you don't like it you can just make it better just keep messing around and make it better and you can almost always turn it around to something you like okay so that's how it looks it's not even, it's darker here, it's lighter there, it doesn't have, it's not perfect, but it's a junk journal and really they're never perfect. So, okay, so now I have this, oh I think I might put some stamps in there. What is this one? Alright, I'm going to try this little bird. It's really cute, I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> it's a cute little bird. And actually, oh my goodness, I have this. These are little feet. Wait till you see this. This is so cute. Wait for it. <laughs> All right, check it out. Ah, so cute. See? All right. So anyway, let's see. I'm going to go like this, and like this, and like that. Okay, let me just use this bone folder. Mm -hmm. Well, do you, Maureen, do you have any, uh, any craft paper at all? It doesn't even have to be, this is kind of card stocky, but, you know, it doesn't have to be. It could be um, thinner paper. But anyways, you just cut it into a, a square. <laughs> Any size, they can be small, big. I have one inch ones. I wonder if I have one handy. I don't know if I do. Oh, yeah, I have this little one. I haven't decorated it yet, but I cut it. So you go up, up, and up. And it's going to be a cutie patootie when I'm done with it, but right now I haven't got it. 
Anyway, so maybe since that one has the little feet, I will leave it like that. And then I could put words in there. I have words. Some words in there. Or maybe these will be great. So I can do this. Right. The mini's cute, isn't it? Alright, hopefully I've got enough water. Maybe I'll add some. Not a lot, though. Alright. I'm going to put it right there. And then this one. Maybe like that. Oh! Turned out too light, but that's okay. Better add some more water. Man. And love. Okay, let's see. Alright, well, it would have been better if that guy, Laugh, would have turned out better. But since it didn't, I'm going to do something else to fix it. I am going to grab something from back here. I'm going to grab this. Ooh, put that in there. So I'm just going to take that. So cute. And okay, so I could leave it like this, or I can go around and do some inking around it. Give it just a little bit of a different character. Kind of goes better in here, I think. And I'll just try to cover it up. Now that is a perfect example of fixing something when I didn't like quite how it turned out. So now it looks cute, I think. I'm going to fold that down, fold this over, and honestly I could put something on each one. I could put a stamp, I could put stickers, I could put stencil, I could put, you know, anything. And now I have the top. So now I'm going to glue this, okay. But how, see how that's flipping up? So that means I need to try to make it a little flatter if I can. So I will. What did you learn? Share, share, share. All right, sometimes I forget to put this back in and then I've got to do it now and I do that and make it a little more unstuck. What did you learn? Share. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see how it is. I'm just going to go like this and kind of spread it out. And that's just a good habit to get into for a lot of reasons. Oh, it does look cute, actually. That you can cover up a mistake, always. And, and I'm square. <laughs> it looks cute, right? So you can do it however you want, you know? good to learn that you can cover up your mistakes. Actually, I really like this one too. But I could put stuff. Like, I could put lines, you know, so you could write stuff. I could do all kinds of stuff, but <clears throat> I'm going to leave this one the way it is. Yeah, that one's a cutie. See how this little bit of fluff seam strings coming off? It actually just adds character, so I'm not going to take it off. I'm just going to leave it there. Something else that is really fun to make that I just started making recently are these things because we did this in my group. Actually, I think it was in a sister group, but we made these things. Oh my gosh, how beautiful are these? 
we called these um, shabby tags and they're so much easier than you think they would be so let me show you how to make one of these so first thing you need is some lace and a piece of paper that you like and I really like this I think I'm going to cut it in half so I'm going to take my use this one but this is not my favorite. I'm gonna just cut this down the middle with my knife. Alright, so now I'm gonna have two of these. And then I have some pretty lace that I just took out earlier from my Timu bag. And I probably should get something. So if I get glue on it, it's okay. So I'm just gonna use this. And then um, Okay, so this is how you do it. You get a piece of paper, you cut it the length that you want. I just took the square, cut it in half. And I really like that back. It's really pretty. Actually, kind of reminds me of something you might put in a wedding journal if you made a junk journal that was a wedding kind. All right, and then the next thing is I'm gonna put these over out of the way a little. You take some lace that you like, and then you kind of measure how much you want. That's pretty close. I'm just going to cut it because you could leave it and cut it after you glue it, but I just find it'll be easier for me to deal with it if I do it now. And then I'll use these extra little pieces I'm going to end up with when I make um, my little clusters that I just showed you. So first thing I'm going to do is glue this one so on the back. I'm going to just start gluing. And I'm using um, Fabri-Tac in my Sugar Bell icing piping bottle. And then I'm going to spread it out. I'm going to make sure the ends, the sides are covered all the way out to the sides. And I want to smash down the glue a little. And then I think, yeah, this is fine. And then I'm going to just put that over there and spread it out. Oops, come on. Cooperate. All right. Actually, it looks so pretty. Okay, look how it looks now. All right. Okay, anyway, now I'm going to do the other side. Or the other one, so... Thank you. It really does look pretty. These are honestly easier to make than they look too, so I'm going to show you and then you can make one. I set and made a whole bunch after I made the first one. I fell in love with them, so I was like, oh, I have to make more. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of line them up a little. That doesn't have to be lined up perfect because I'm cutting. I'm going to cut it anyway. I'm going to use this magazine now that I. Okay, so now we've got this. I'm going to let that set for just a second and then other parts that we have on this tag are 
some lace down here a little word which you could use <clears throat> I just happen to have this but if I didn't I would just use a word that I printed or took out of a book or whatever and I would ink around it and so I need some more lace these guys okay where are those at This, I have a couple of these, but this is one I'm going to pull from today to do this. And I have some that are in here, and I might use this after all. And then I have some I haven't sorted, and so that's that. Let's go ahead and cut this now. Go down the middle. See how I accidentally cut a little of the paper? That doesn't matter. I'm just going to cut it right off. Now it's gone. Looks like I might need a little more glue. That's fine. I'll do that. Oops. I know. I love to go thrifting. I also love to go to estate sales, those are my favorite because uh, you often get a good deal there and they usually have crafty things at estate sales. Not always, but often they do. So, okay. I'll cut that a little bit. Alright, and then cut this one. And I mean, honestly, any lace would work. Just as long as you can kind of maybe... I don't know, maybe see through it a little, but honestly, it probably wouldn't even matter if you could or not. Because then that would be the focal point is the, is whatever color the lace is, and you wouldn't need to see through it. So, either way is fine. Because they don't even have to look like this when they're done. They can look however you have. You know, you always just make it your own. So, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so now we have this to work with. Those are pretty. And then on this one, I found something like this. Okay. Let's see. Maybe this will work. All right, this is actually a paint swatch from Walmart that I got. And so I'm just going to use it. I think if I cut off this part right here with my knife, and then, that's cute, and then I'm going to cut it in half. Ish, right? Aw, thank you. Thank you for that. All right, let's see. Cut this. And then let's see if this is a, a good sized. Well, maybe it is. Look at that. 
All right, but first I'm going to go ahead and ink it because I like to ink, but you know you don't have to do that. You can do it without inking. A lot of people don't ink, but I just like how it looks. And I'm going to show you the difference. Even if I just do a light inking, I'll just do a light inking on here, and then I'll show you the one without any inking. Okay, and then you can see the difference. So you get a total different look, really. So let's do like this and this. And I'll try to see if I can get them up there side by side. So you're going to have this kind of a look. This is really pretty, actually, but I, al I always go to this. I don't know. So for me, I'm going to ink, but I know lots of people that don't. Oh, thank you. It looks good when it's crisp, too, so I think it really depends on what you're trying to achieve in the end. So let's get a little piece there and move it off. I always end up going towards the vintagey look, and that's probably why I always ink. But lately, my favorite has been this sort of shabby chic and also vintage combo. But you see how I did ink a lot on here, but I didn't ink everything, so I didn't need the ed I didn't ink the edges. I I just added some. Okay, so now I'm going to glue these on real quick. Okay, and then just kind of. This one. decide a couple things. Which kind of lace I want to put down here. Mm. I'll put these up here a little. All right. Actually, this one's a pretty one. Look at that. Okay, wait. <laughs> it's hard to see. Let's see. That's pretty. Let's try a couple others. Like this one. Pull that out. Oops. Uh, no, I don't think so. I also have this one, which is really pretty. Hmm. I think it blends in too much. But anyway, it's your choice, like, use whatever you want, you know. Mm. I don't know. The first one, I think so too. Okay. So I want to cut this straight off so it doesn't bend like that. Mm. And then, well, I guess I need to decide. Just need to make a, a line of glue across. There we go. Let's put that up there. 
Oops. I took it off. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's back on now. Now, if you look at these, you can tell this one's bigger. Because it doesn't matter. You make it whatever size you feel like making it, right? There's no specific size. It could be this big. It could be any size. Whatever you choose. Whatever sizes of pieces of paper and lace and what have you that you have available. Again, I really want to cut that more straight. And I'm going to clean those lines up in a minute when it dries a little. Put this back. On this one, when I made this one, the first one makes everything look delicate, I know. So I have two different laces on here, this one, and then there's one on the top of that. So I'm going to see. Oh yeah, here's that one. So that's this one I used on the other one. So as we put everything on here, it will look, look, look more like the other one. So... I think that's good right there. Goes this way. I'll clean up the edges when things are a little more dry. Okay, and then this one. Get down there, glue. Okay. Now we're done with this and that. And now we have this. Let's see. Very cute. I just want it to dry a little before. So we also need um, this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What's that look like? So I think this might work. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is cut off. I'm gonna have to glue that down a little better. Maybe this much. I think that'll work. Okay. Take it all the way through. Let's see. Okay, I don't think it's gonna do both. That's fine. Then we're gonna fold it in half. Alright, see how it's not exactly right. Now if you are very much a perfectionist, you could fix that. But, it's not even going to matter because it's going to be on the back anyway. So. Um, I think I'm going to cut some of it off because I want it to leave a little space like this one has. So, and it's not going to do that if I don't cut a little off. Thank you. I love them too. I fell in love with them. I made one for the swap and then I was like, ooh, these are so pretty. Alright. Okay. I'm just going to cut that 
off. And make sure it looks good there. Actually, I don't have to put any more glue because I'll be using glue to glue this. So now I need glue all in here. Alright, let's see. And now we have that. That looks cute. Again, I don't think that one's wide enough, so... Maybe I'll cut some of that down. Oh no, now that side is too thin, so I wasn't thinking that out very well. <laughs> That's okay though, I'll just cut this side a little. Thank you. I'm glad you are enjoying it. Okay, then I'm going to glue this like we did with the other one. All right. Okay, there we go. Are you going to try to make some of these? All right, let's see. Somehow it's not quite... Right, but that's okay. Now I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, there you go. Okay, now those are gonna sit there for a minute. Ouch. Okay, so now we also need a little picture. Now this could be anything. It could be a flower. It could be anything. I have these ladies and I always love to use the ladies. something like this. Okay, so I have these stickers. Now, wouldn't she look cute there? Let's just see. Oh, I ripped her. That's okay, though. She won't even be able to tell. Alright. Would she look cute there? She would. Alright. Alright, earlier I showed you how to do it when you um ink around the sticker, but this time, let's see, I'm not going to, mostly because I kind of ripped her and I, I'm trying to hide it, and if I mess with it too much, I might make it worse, so, now, okay, so look, let me show you some, another mistake, oh, I'm glad you're going to try it, see how you can kind of see where I ripped her right here? There's something I can do with that. I have this cute little thing of tiny little flat back pearls. And I'm going to see if one of those will work. And it will. I'm going to put it on there. Well, actually in this situation I have this tiny little thing. And I'm just going to it on my glue. This is my glue, my favorite glue for these smaller things. Scotch permanent glue stick. So I put a little there and I'm just going to add it. Trying to get it in the right spot is a challenge. 
Oh, dang it. I messed around with it too much. All right, let's see. I think it, once that glue dries, it'll look cute right there. See? And then I just put a couple more on random places. I think that'll even it out. Come on. <laughs> Improving it until I like it. <laughs> All right, about there. I think it's fine. Okay, anyway. All right, so then, oops, let's put this up there and this is over here. And then we need to. Hole and a grommet. That's what this thing is, is a grommet. And I have a, a grommet tool. Uh-oh, what happened? my grommet tool and just need a hole punch and I don't know where my little one is but I have this thing. Put the lid back on here. Thank you. I have this huge crocodile thing. So I'm just going to um, Punch a hole with that one. Oh, that's what this looks like. This is cool because it punches through really thick stacks of paper. Helps you put your signatures holes in your book. Okay, so now I need to get one of my little grommet. Oh, come on, where are they? Where is the problem? You know what else I can do, though? I can use something. Okay, so these I use the grommet, but I currently cannot find where my little thing of grommets are. So I'm going to choose something different. <laughs> these guys. Oh, that's cute. But I think I need a little bit. <laughs> that's cute. I have a bunch of these. Okay, that was the one I was looking for. Let's see what it looks like. It's a tiny little bow. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, I'm going to try this and see. All right. I think it'll be cute, actually. So I fold that down, and now it looks like this. Well, that's cute. Anyway. these guys back and then let me let me show you how you could use one of these in, in the book I just finished this book recently
She's so lovely. And she's a fat one. And I could just take her. And I have this one. Let's see which one. Where could I put her? Um, you know, I could just put her like that. And I have these cute little, so simple, but they would work. But you could also use altered paper clips or something like that. But I just to put her in there real quick, I can use one of these little paper clips that I have. Um, maybe this one. Okay. And she looks so cute right there, right? Super cute. Maybe I'll leave her in there, actually. <laughs> but she's so thick, right? I can't add much more. She's super pretty. All right. She's going to be auctioned off. Well, sort of like a raffle, not an auction, but on one of the junk journal sites. She's scheduled to be raffled off on, I think it's March 25th. Oh, I'm so happy you're going to make some. I'm glad you watched and visited with me today. I really appreciate it. All right. I better start thinking about what I'm going to make for dinner. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for checking out um, my live and visiting with me. I really appreciate it. I hate to leave when there's people visiting me. <laughs> so, so hard to leave. Anyway. Well, let me show you a couple things on this journal that I did do. Since you're on the, I made this dangle. So, this dangle um, is just with different bits of random pieces of ribbon and yarn. It could be fabric. And then I also hung these things, made these little dangles. I should make that on here one of these times. And then I made it a removable one, but they don't have to be. They could be fixed in there. And then I just attach it. And that way, when you want a journal and stuff, you can just take it off. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to put her right there. And what does this pop up? I don't know. I don't know what that is. King created. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to be on more regularly. Actually, I'm trying to come on every Sunday, but sometimes it's challenging, like, for different reasons. Life gets in the way, but I'm going to work towards being on at least every Sunday and hopefully other days throughout the week as I go forward. Um, but you can join my junk journal group if you're not already a member. It's on um, Facebook, Junk Journal Newbies. We specialize in helping new junk journal creators um, get their feet wet and learn what to do. And we have a really wel welcoming group of women and also um, a lot of other members that are part of other junk journal groups that are really wonderful and help everybody get get comfortable with what we're doing. So please find me there on Junk Journal Newbies on Facebook. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thanks for joining.
Thank you, thank you. Oops.